So in this video, we're going to be going through the brand new releases of the Gemini Jet NG and Phoenix Molds. First one on the list, we have this BA777 200ER. This is by NG Models. This is a pre-order um, by NG and it's quite a high anticipated aircraft. So I'm probably going to get it uh, because, you know, why not? Because, you know, BA777, like... You know, come on. Who does not like the triple sevens? Come on. Who doesn't like the triple sevens? And I think it'll be quite an interesting aircraft to have in my fleet. Um, so, yeah, that's why this plane is up first. And this is a brand new plane coming out. So, we are starting with NG models first, but we might as well do NG first. So, we have these United Boeing 737-800 um, from NG models. And the like Star Wars um movie scheme and colour scheme. Um I think this looks really, really cool. Um they look quite cool um to add to a fleet. Um I think I might get I might get the blue one because the blue is obviously my favourite colour. Um so yeah, this is a nice aircraft and hopefully it comes with a good release from everyone and good reactions. Next aircraft by NG Models, which is a new release, we have the Norse Atlantic Airways 787-9. This aircraft is like, when I do get my models, I'm probably going to get the ones that look cool or are unique. Because, to be honest, I do like the Dreamliner. Dreamliner is probably one of my favourite aircraft. Um, so, yeah, this is Norse Atlantic Airways coming out. Um, for these releases for this year or this month or next month even next we have Transavia Transavia um, costs roughly about £39.95 pence. Um, I'll be getting this aircraft because I think it could do route from my airport to Tenerife, Lanzarote um, Alicante Tenerife North, Tenerife South Mallorca, Palma de Mallorca, Ibiza, Lisbon, Porto, and a lot of coastal airports. So this is a highly anticipated aircraft on my list, and this is probably some highly anticipated aircraft for any European collectors. Next up, we have Japan um, Airlines in the One World livery. Um, this is an A350-900. Um, obviously, it costs roughly £46. Um, this aircraft is quite a highly anticipated aircraft for doing routes um, to Tokyo, Narita, um, you know, all different Tokyo airports. I don't know any, so that's a bit unfortunate. But apart from this, this model does look on the ice. Um, this is, again, by NG Models. So this is probably a get-get for me, unless you like cool planes like this one. Next, we have Air France A350 900. This plane costs £46.95. Um, this is an aircraft that could fly to highly destinated routes from um, all different airports. Well, it depends what airport you're doing and how far destination is going to be. Because I'm probably going to send this aircraft to French Guinea, um, a country in South America owned by the French. Um, so. Yeah, probably departing there and staying there as well. So, yeah. Next up, we have the United Boeing 777-200ER and the Star Alliance livery. Uh, this aircraft um, is obviously a good aircraft to have for collectors um, of, any, of any airport where they're flying to. America, like you've got New York, uh, Chicago, LAX, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Dallas, Fort Worth, Baltimore, um, and then many more high demand routes. This aircraft is again £46.95, and hopefully, this aircraft is probably going to get sold out very quickly, so get it while you can. Next up, we have Cargo Jet 757 200. Freighter. This, air this aircraft is going to be so useful to me as well as I'm doing East Midlands, which is a massive cargo bay. 
I'm probably going to send this aircraft to Hamilton, King Sink, King Kinati, um, any more cargo destinations like Leipzig, Cologne, and more. Next up, we have the Southwest Boeing 737-700 in the Missouri One colours. This aircraft is useful if anyone's collecting any of these Southwest, you know, state livery planes. I think the Southwest is in new livery, so like, you know, the switch back between liveries, especially Gemini jets. They went from like the old livery, then the new livery, they went to the old livery, and it got quite confusing. But NG get get the livery quite right, I've heard. So why don't get this model instead of getting the old livery Missouri one colours? Next up, we have Trans World Airlines, also known as TWA seven four seven SP. Um, a lot of people do like collecting these seven four seven SPs. Um, so I'm probably not going to be bothered with this one because I don't really need a seven four seven SP. Um, but if you guys do need a seven four SP, NG Models has your back, and this is one of the newer ones coming out next month so quite hype next up we have the cafe pacific 777-300er this aircraft is in the fantasy retro livery um i'm probably like gonna get this one because then i can send it to manchester and then like you know like switch around between two airports and i could do like manchester to hong kong so this aircraft is another one on my list. Obviously, it's a retro livery, so it's kind of good to see all the aircraft coming from NG models, which obviously I'm going to get this one for sure. Next up, we have Hungary Air, Hungary Air Cargo. Or it's like, a little bit tired. Hungary Air Cargo A330. Is this the 900 Neo? I'm not too sure. I'm just going to say the 900. A three hundred eighty dash nine hundred. Um, this aircraft is really good for my airport, East Midlands. So obviously it's a cargo aircraft. So this is definitely going to be me purchasing this. Um, so yeah, that's that. And um, this aircraft is coming to my airport sooner or later, flying to Budapest. Next up, we have this Qatar triple seven three hundred ER. Um, there is another Qatar, so I do have these two um Qatar to see on order. Um, obviously, not they're not going to be obviously here yet. Um, hoping there probably won't be an unboxing of these due to um, probably me being away or depends what day they actually come. So, this model is the one I've pre ordered, and the next one which you should see right now the same airline just with one world titles. I just felt like I could switch the aircraft up during each like with each day, like a little schedule. So, this is again another Qatar 777 300. These two are quite unique models to get. I did, I was tempted to get a seven eight seven, but I thought, yeah, the triple seven is much better because you know who who doesn't like the triple seven three hundred. So I thought I should get this and and the other and the old one and then switch between both liveries. So this is that's what exactly I'm gonna do, and this is again by NG Models. So, if you do concede to like this video, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.